Every year, home fires account for the majority of fire deaths and lead to billions of dollars in property damage along with the terrible toll they take in terms of injuries. Adding fire sprinklers and smoke detectors to buildings can help save lives and property, but another approach is to make construction materials less flammable. Researchers from Texas A&M University who are presenting at ACS Spring 2022, a meeting of the American Chemical Society, will report on a new type of coating that could limit the flammability of wood used in construction, which could potentially provide more time to escape a fire and also curb its spread. I hope in the future our treatments can be used much, much like uh, pressure-treated wood would be treated, but you'd use our chemistry and our technology and it would make flame retardant two by fours that you could use for housing. The plywood was dipped in an aqueous solution containing a positively charged polymer, polyethylenamine, or PEI, a monomer hydroxyethyl methacrylate phosphate, or HMP, and a photoinitiator known as TPO. The plywood was then exposed to an ultraviolet light for a few minutes. That caused the TPO to turn the HMP into a negatively charged polymer, which then formed a polyelectrolyte complex with the PEI. The transparent coating is only a few micrometers thick, and it only slightly increased the wood's weight. In lab flame tests, the treated wood lowered the amount of heat released during burning and quickly formed a surface layer of char that protected the underlying wood, features that could limit fire damage and reduce the fire spread. The char helps to protect the underlying wood because it can't combust any further and it blocks the heat from getting further into the wood. Meanwhile, the nitrogen-rich component that's mixed in with this degrades and produces a lot of non-flammable gas. That degradation absorbs some of the heat energy from the fire, and also the non-flammable gas chokes out the oxygen supply to the fire. And so all of these things combine at once to create what's called an intumescent shell around the interior of the wood and protects you know, degradation beyond the surface layer. The researchers say that the UV curable polyelectrolytes could potentially be used as a resin to make 3D printed parts, which are flammable when made with conventional resins. That could be particularly beneficial in aerospace settings such as on the International Space Station.